Okay, boys and girls, today is October 12th, 2020. This is what we did today. Um, we go to our writing part of our reading journal. Let me go ahead and zoom out. We wrote down our spelling words. Again, we're dealing with suffixes, words with suffixes, and I'll go down in a bit. Um, so they are found here on page 77 of My View 4.1. You could also go to the Google Classroom under week 2.2 and you can find them there as well. So let me move it down. Today for homework there, are, um, the pattern highlights. So you can group uh, the words that end in meant in the suffix meant together and make sure you highlight them in crayon or highlighter if you have some. You could also group the ones that end in ity together and then also highlight them and so forth. The ones that end in IC or the ones that end in IVE and so forth. Okay, let me move that down. And then on the next page, we did do um, some notes. So suffixes are word parts added to the end of a word. Some words drop the final E before adding a suffix. So here are some examples of that. So we have base, we dropped the E and added IC for the suffix. So now it becomes basic. The same thing goes with microscopic, from microscope to microscopic. Commune to community. Now instead of IC, we put the suffix ITY, so we drop the E. Uh, for able to ability, that one's a little different. You don't drop the E, and you actually have to add another I in between the B and the L um, in order to add the ITY. Festive, you drop the E and add I-T-Y for festivity. Manage, the E actually stays and you just add meant. Enjoy, to enjoyment, there's no E at the end so you just add the meant. Majesty, you drop the Y and add the I-C. Safe, the E stays and then you add the T-Y for safety. Okay, and in our reading part of our journal, we went ahead and, and cut and paste the biography anchor chart, page 53 on My View 4.1. And this is for our story, Rare Treasure, this week. So just cut it out and then it should be behind of the last anchor chart that we did last week. So that's what we did in our reading journal. If we would go into um, our My View 4.1, our story this week is of course on page 55. So we did our picture walk. If you haven't done that, make sure you do that. We do not start reading until we do our picture walk. Our prediction was this selection will be about a girl who finds treasure at the beach, okay? So there are several illustrations here for our story this week. Um, make sure you label and try to see what's going on in each illustration. So that's what we did with ours today. So just make sure you label everything you see um, and try to figure out what's going on in this story before you read it. Again, this is a biography, so it's another type of a narrative nonfiction, a story that is real. Um, last week we did an autobiography. We did an autobiography and that meant that the author was the, run, was the one who wrote the story, his own life, his or her own life story. And that was Buzz, right, for last week. 
This week, it's just a biography. That means somebody else has written a story about a certain person or an event. And it's more than likely in third uh, person point of view. Last week we saw it was first person point of view for the autobiography. Okay, so again, this is just what we did, picture walk. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly the same like we did. Just go ahead and do that. For each page up to, up to page 67. Okay, so that was for reading. And then we went into our math journal. Math journal. So if we go to page, I'm sorry, after um, the last piece of notes that we wrote in here, we're starting a new lesson, measuring length. So just measuring length and then customary, customary versus metric. We go on to the next page. I forgot to write the date here. Length is how long something is from one end to the other end. And we have customary units, units and we have metric units. And I kind of uh, did tell the students today that ME is also for Mexico because metric is what they use over there and in a lot of other countries in the world. Uh, we are some of the few, if not the only one, to use customary units. So that's inches, feet, yards, and miles. And then for metric, it's millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer. Okay. And that was it for that page. Then we went ahead and did a table for the customary units. We have inch, foot, yard, and mile. And we did some conversions here at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and move it in a bit. So these are the conversions. 12 inches is one foot, three feet is one yard, and 1,760 yards is one mile. And then we have the metric units. So abbreviation is just shorter names. We have the millimeter, the centimeter, the meter, and the kilometer. And we have 10 millimeters is one centimeter, 100 centimeters is one meter, and 1,000 meters is one kilometer. Okay, so that's what we did for math and in the binder. We did get started on some. We do have some homework for tonight, which is, of course, Basic Facts 5, and I did these as some examples. Basic Facts 5. And Basic Facts 6 will be for homework. And we did start on the length on page 50 as well. This was using a ruler. And that's all we did for math today. Okay, after that we continued with our science lesson on matter. So if we go to our science creation book and we look into, let's see here. We went over what density is. So we read page 118 and 119. So that's something that we filled out. Density is the amount of matters present in um, a certain volume of a substance. So we learned that if the density is greater than water, then it's going to sink. And if it's less than the water, it's going to float, just like in these examples here. So that's what we wrote down there. 
And then on this other page, uh, we just named some objects that might be more dense than water, which is coins, rocks, bricks, and a hammer. And then from my world, uh, we watched a video that was on the Google Classroom and we continued our reading on the early history of Texas. We did continue. Uh, this page is a Karankawa, which is on page 114, and it's going to be really important because our writing in the content areas, it's going to be about these two American Indian groups. Um, page 115 we read as well, so just go ahead and continue to page 116. Um, make sure you do finish reading that. This is again on my world, page starting on page 115. And this is going to be something important for page 6 in writing in the content areas. Page 6 in writing in the content areas. Select two tribes. So these two tribes could be the Caddo and the Karankawa. And explain how they are alike and different. So basically comparing them. I know there was a Venn diagram on the My World. I'm not too sure if it was based on these two, but more than likely, yes. So again, just comparing them. How are they similar? How are they different? These could be some of the differences right here, the ones that we've written here. So now you would just have to find how they are similar and make sure they're in complete sentences and have correct um, punctuation. And that was it for today.